<laughs> yeah. All right. So we will enter into our finals uh, between Prathap from Tabletop Gamers and Indies from Axie GG. Super excited. Oh, yeah. And Brendan in chat, completely correct. These two are at a very advanced level. Um, I am, I've been, I've been itching to see these two guys play against each other this whole tournament, and uh, everyone's expected that it would be these two in the grand finals. Uh, yeah, cool that it, cool that it went that way. Yeah, totally. I think Prathap has only dropped two games this entire uh, weekend, or maybe three, and Indies is around the same too. I think Indies might have only dropped. Uh, two games two, as well. Two or three. Yeah. Yeah, two, I think. So, really, really cool stuff. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Incredible. All right, and we are in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Welcome to the Grand Finals. Here we go. $500 for first place on the line here. Uh, round one, we got in perfectly. Indy's rocking the double aqua. And Prathap with his own oh. double aqua. Wow. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can see the uh, subtle variations and subtle interactions here. Right, um, definitely. Uh, Prathap bringing a cattail on his tank. Uh, I do prefer the hot butt in this situation. And then uh, aqua shock from... <laughs> At Prathap's tank, which is uh, way more preferable, right? Almost all of Indy's DPS is through Aqua cards. Hey, and, and these are flipped, right? And this is actually on the left. It, or oh, my... yes, yes, yes. Good stuff. Yep. Hopefully they don't sit and swap. <laughs> that would be pretty <laughs> bad. I'll, I'll ask. Wow, there goes there goes Indus tank. Yep. Wow. Uh, Indus so, is definitely at a probably at a disadvantage here. Yeah, yep, uh, I would agree. We'll see. Yeah, and and it's also, you know, that aqua stock is gonna be a big factor. For sure. And that that is you know the issue, like what Prathrap has in his hand, the Steel plus the Aqua Shock. No matter what Indies does, you know Prathrap gets an energy. advantage. Yep. Yep. You're right. There's energy in play. And now Prathrap gaining three energy and stealing one. Wow. Ooh. That. I mean, that's pretty tough. Pretty tough. Yeah, very tough. It gives the Prath, Prath up the energy edge, for sure. Definitely. Uh, it's gonna be tough for Indies here. You know, down an Axie, down a down so down quite a bit of energy as well. We'll see. There's gonna be a lot of damage coming out of Prathrap here. Sure, sure. A lot depends on this hit. Yep, oh, that was enough. Yeah, Shoalstar ends the last stand. Yep, so. perfect. And, oh, well the the kill on Indies. Midliner. Midliner, crazy stuff. But yep, Indies is faster. Star. Does have the lower ID. Uh, uh, and will have four energy for next turn. I don't know if Prathrap's shield will be enough. Indies might win this. Wow, I, I guess I, I missed it. I, I didn't see... Did Prathap skip that turn? Yeah. Was it a card draw issue? I didn't see why he skipped that turn. Yeah, me neither. Um, I, I don't I don't know why he skipped that turn either. And yeah, Brandon that, calls that it out pass, in chat. Yeah. That, that pass was very surprising. Uh, yeah. Huh. Must have misread. Well, I think it maybe it was a card issue. Maybe he just didn't have enough cards. Right, to... and yeah, probably had a wow. poor draw. But yeah, wow, Indies takes a game Indus. one. I mean, that was a surprise. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that's that double aqua versus double aqua game, right? I mean, <laughs> that ended in a second. Yeah. Well, incredible too. 
Yeah. Um, just, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I've, I've heard Indus talk about like, you need to be aggressive when it's the right time. Totally. He sure, he sure showed that. <laughs> yep, that was, that was a, uh, exact part. Uh, and there we go. He only had three cards on his backliner. So right, either it way, it seemed issue. like a pretty yeah. pretty bad situation. And that yeah. is the fact that Indy's backliner has a bird part, and his midliner is a lower ID. So very... Right. Uh... Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those interactions, I, again, like, that's why I said it, it must have been a card thing, but <laughs> these right. guys, Brath App and Indus know it so well, I have to guess. <laughs> <as> to <what's laughs> right, going on. right. But the uh, Indus comes and verifies. Man, it just makes me excited to see this play out. Yeah, totally. This is a super exciting. Let's uh, there we go. Yeah, love those quick double aqua matches. Yeah, I mean, what was that? What did that end on round six? Crazy. Oh yeah, something like that. And then, yep. Yeah, uh, Brendan does say, he, I've, it is weird that Prathrap did pass because there is the possibility of a crit, you know? Crit, yeah, that's kind of what I would think too. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe he, maybe he's hoping he lives. Um, mm. don't know. Yeah, interesting stuff. Let's see if they are in for game two. All right, they are. Uh, both, both players make a team switch. Uh, with, in, uh, uh, they didn't do this uh oh <laughs> we're gonna be playing uh name daisies oh you have to switch again yeah ah, indus it's, it's, yeah it's all good it'll be all right indus with the that beast i love that beast indus brings yeah yeah very cool stuff well both of them have a rice beast uh yeah, and and so we've got double energy still on both sides. Right, and then we did we did just see Prathrap take a uh, two energy from Indus there. Wow. Fair fair point, Brendan. You never know if they're just trying to fake the fake out. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, this is gonna be a ton of damage. And <laughs> maybe there will be a Necro MVP next T Pen Bash too. Can I be? Can that be my way to support? For sure, Necro. That would be awesome. That would be oh, super yeah. sick. I, I love the the Necro MVP. That's super sweet. Totally. Yeah. So so Indus tank lives there, which I think is huge for Indus. Yep. Very big. Forces at least one more energy use than Prathrap may prefer. Yeah. Agreed. Interesting decision here on the. Uh, uh, cactus. And then, are you thinking... Yeah, I, oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say, amazing pass. I mean, I think that is definitely the right move. For sure. <laughs> For Indy. Uh, and we did he, see both of the uh, Gudas, I mean, both of the uh, Siriuses come out of his tank already, so Indus feeling pretty confident about that pass, I bet. Yeah, yeah, I think so, too. Um... Here, though, uh, he's got to get busy, I think. Right, yeah, and he chooses to pass this turn. Uh, interesting wow. stuff. He knows maybe, I mean, Prathrap only had two energy there, right? So, interesting stuff. Well, and he stuff. hadn't seen the cat tail, so maybe maybe he's waiting to see that come out. Yeah, possibly. Doesn't want to give him any card draw. Uh, I'd assume that Indus here is going to backdoor the beast and then try yeah. and kill the tank. I think Indus is going for a double kill here. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I would expect Prathap to um, play the play the card on his tank, and uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, One thing. Okay, there we go. Indus does play a card. I was worried there for a second. He might have like had internet issues, broken. but it yeah. uh, looks like it is good. Interesting. Yep. Prathrap uh, messing around fixing his play order here. I do find it a little bit odd. Oh wow, was was that calculated? Uh, without that crit, was his a uh, beast there going to kill? I you mean, know, was his aqua the chill, there? It might have been. It was really close. It was. Um, 
Hmm. This is a scary spot wow. here. I, yeah. I'm still pretty <laughs> surprised that he didn't choose to backdoor the beast. Yeah, I mean, it, it's still it's still way interesting. You would think Prathap has the advantage here right, right. now. Right. Uh, with the last stand shenanigans, Indy's Beast can pull out. We'll see. Uh, okay. Does uh, refresh the morale as well. Prathrap did steal two energy from Indies here, or one energy here from Indies. Uh, that's not what we're looking for for Indies' side. Uh, Prathrap looks like he has it in the bag. Yeah, yeah. I, I would expect so. Um, I guess we'll see. Yep. And, uh... The, the, the way he played that, uh, I don't think it mattered really either way, because it's end right. last stand, but, yep. Just wanted to guarantee uh, that yeah, Shulstar yeah. really shuts down the, the shenanigans that... Uh, hey, fascinating. Uh, ties it up. That's, a, yeah. that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, that Shulstar for the, on, to counteract the Beast last stand uh, plays it can make. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, definitely. And Brendan in chat, I do totally think uh, Indies definitely was pretty passive. He took he took a couple turns off there that I didn't expect. I really was uh, surprised where we yeah. when we didn't see him backdoor uh, Prathap's beast. Must have been thinking about yeah. something there, but no, I I agree. I think uh, he he may give us some explanation, but uh, I, I I tend to agree too. So yep. He, uh, energy-wise, must have calculated that the he didn't like uh, how to win with uh, backdooring the beast. Right. I mean, he gives us some explanation. I thought he might in chat, and and so what he's what he's uh, concerned about is that tank living. It, ha it has to go away, and so that's that's what he was focused on. I mean, and again, I, I don't have the level of uh, understanding that Indus ha has, but uh, my 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 thought would have been, um, you know, uh, try to try to backdoor kind of like you said, right? Yeah, and then, and then take try to take care of the uh, tank with the beast afterward. Yep, I I that's that's the path that I saw, but you know, Indus, he's a he's Indus a very good player. <laughs> yep. All right, we yeah, are getting I've... into game three. Yep. And they are switching every time. It's all good, though. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's good. You, you got it. You don't have to switch the numbers this time. So that's yeah, good. exactly. Uh, hopefully they keep it even. Oh, hey, look <laughs> at that. The, the, stun, the stun reptile in the back. Ooh. Ah, that... Yep. Looking, look, just the looking Kestrel. at the layout, to me, I feel like Indus has a... Uh, has the advantage but uh, that's just because i i play that reptile back so much um, mm -hmm. whenever i see two aquas with my reptile back i'm thinking i've got a pretty good shot at this right yeah uh definitely you know you see double aqua there and with that reptile you're probably pretty happy about yourself but it's a it's a lot of damage on those those two aquas i mean they definitely. what are they clones of each other it looks like i mean pretty much uh i don't see a difference in parts except for ears oh oh no the tails yeah, oh the yep tails. no no no. yeah always yeah the t the mid one the middle one in most situations brings that goldfish tail yep. Ooh, uh the double steal from prathap but indies at least gets one back and then you can see the variation in his beast uh, Indus really likes to bring uh, a vine, I mean, some sort of zero cost on most of his backliners. Help get yeah. rid of that stun or, you know, shenanigans for free. Uh, so Yeah, especially with Chomp. Um, Definitely. You kind of need that zero cost, especially if it ends up in a in a 1v1 with the backliners. For sure. I, I just really like how he has his backline beast and then he has his midline beast with Deathmark instead of Confident. Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Pretty cool stuff there. And that risky fish attack bonuses helps those aquas get through those tanks. Yeah. He did leave an energy, so one free energy for indies. 
that evened up the energy exchange. Uh, the yeah, the steels did. have wow. now been neutralized. Yeah, uh, Prathap gets some cards, though. Um, Dev yep, very true, and that's Prathap, huge. Yeah. Well, and I think Indus had the card advantage until that point. Mm, right. It's really, I mean, in just total quantity. For sure. That bonus damage, wow, Risky Fish. Wow. And he got a steal from Prathap there. Uh, he stole that Nemo, I believe, Prathap played. Yep. Yep. And I'm pretty sure Indies is just going to take this turn off. Uh, well, went for the uh, headshot. Stop a Shoal Star from being played. Yeah. Pro probably... Oh, and it is a losing matchup. He needed that extra damage so he could kill it this turn with his tiny swings. Right, right. He needed to get one more round into it. And, yeah, it takes away, takes away that Shoal Star. For sure. And this is a close one. Uh, we'll see wow, if this is you know, enough. That's, that's incredible. Indus plays just the right amount of cards. Like, I would be way too tempted to play a third um, mm. just to make sure. And Didn't and even add a Vine Dagger, the, yeah. Yeah. And I think this does it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, very, very, Incredible. very good showing. That was a great game. Yeah, especially where both uh, both teams, uh, both players changed their team comp. For um, sure. To end up with, with that type of, <laughs> with that type of match all the way to the end. Incredible. Yeah. Awesome stuff there. Yeah. So I think I should just start moving the names right now, or <laughs> I guess the first, the time I move the names, it's going to be the same. But... Yeah, maybe just wait to see. For sure. Yeah, and Indus explaining the, the two times Kestrel um, also was to help him get the redraw so that he, he could get the cards he wanted for the 1v1. For sure. Yeah, this just is this is just back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, definitely. And it, Super and this awesome goes stuff. Up. But yeah, I mean, we'll see we'll see what happens here. All right. Uh there might be some uh, some sort of, maybe Prathvap or Indus is building a new team, moving positions around, you know, or just, hey, yeah, uh, clearing their it. mind. Yes, yeah, st stretching. <laughs> right. Uh, Necro asked, when is the next bash? Uh, that's a really good question. Uh, we need to schedule it and figure it out. For sure. Yeah, we've, we've been talking about it. Um, we're, we're just glad that we ended up getting enough entrance because it was sure. kind of sketchy at <laughs> yep, first. Definitely. But hope, hopefully everybody sees what's happening. If we can keep sponsors uh, interested and, and we can keep people coming. Yeah. I. What do you For think, sure. Finn? Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, down, I mean, this has been a really, really great time. I've been loving it. Uh, have a new co-host here and the oh, the competition has been great and then necro yep you, you didn't have enough time to prep exactly uh the yeah we we had it scheduled um and then we needed to move it so yep definitely the next time we do a bash we will give plenty of prep time uh we just once we figure out when we want to do it okay sweet sounds good necro that's awesome yeah, I would expect uh, the most the most frequent would be probably monthly, right? Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. And let's see. I mean, that's T Pen's call, though. <laughs> I'm happy to support him as much as I can. Definitely. And <laughs> they didn't switch this time. Oh wow! Christmas part. Oh yeah, and. Immediate kill by Prathrap there. Wow. Got a crit. Okay, so yeah, Indus is on the left, right? Yep, yeah. yep. I'm getting good at the swaps. <laughs> First round tank kill, wow. Yeah. So so it's interesting here, but uh, you would think... You'd think... Uh, Prath app has uh, the advantage for sure. There is the bug is strong against both plants, so right we'll just exactly. Have to see. 
Uh, yeah, Indies. But one of those, one of those was a Rice, right? So yeah. that he played, yeah. And energy was stolen from Indies. Hits him with the numbing too. Yeah, that Christmas part actually is crazy, man. Yeah, it's got a lot it of is. stuff going on. Yeah, the Chomp. Uh, real strong against Aqua cards. Yeah, very good. And then the numbing, Lucretian. Yeah. Very impactful as well. Made it so Indies, uh, his Aqua is going to not have any use in this turn, and he might die. Oh, wow. that crit. Uh, I don't think it mattered, but, you know, in that situation... Uh, wow. He just lost a ton of cards, as well as yep. his Axie. But we'll see. Uh, interesting yeah, play here. Manages energy. Right, yeah. He And he has tons of energy, but interesting play. He decides to end turn by playing just his speed slowdowns. I guess he wanted wow. to make sure the Beast didn't get any value next turn, which is cool. Uh, I feel like he could have killed last turn, though. Maybe he just wanted the extra energy for this fight. But well, yeah, I mean, the numbing this is, Lucretian. This is a tough situation with the numbing Lucretian. With for Gravel sure. Light. Yep, just uh, ends the game there. Uh, Indies couldn't play anything. Crazy stuff. Wow, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <So cool. laughs> this is awesome. It's almost like uh, it might these games uh, to these players might be being decided uh, in the pre-match team selection, and they just are <laughs> you know like to to a certain extent, right? Right. And then yeah. I mean Prathrap on that game, the crit, you know the 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 crit that took all the utility away from uh, Indy's tank there. Oh, I'd say yeah, the first round bird, the the first round crit, not bird, the first round uh, killing the tank is uh, yeah, that was huge. Definitely. All right, they're back in game here. That's why it's so tough um, for me, like, when I take the shelter. Right. And I'm going against the beast to not play it, so. For sure. And, you know, that's that's a they play swap. variation. <laughs> a lot, you know, almost no pro brings shelter. Uh, it You know, it, it is extra speed on your tank, and every tank is taking serious, so that's, pro that's part of the reason why, right? But... Yeah. I don't know, just reducing some of that variability, especially with the beast damage being the key, the biggest key factor to tank death. Yeah. Makes it real hard for me not to like taking shelter. But then again, you know, there's not very many Ronins in uh, in, in this uh, tournament, and there's not very many imps either, so. Right. The, I mean, the crits are, are not like specifically planned for, except for the lethal ones. That right. And then it's 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 the lethal plays have been really cool for sure. Yes. And uh, oh yeah, yes, Brendan brings it up. Indy's breaking out a post fight all out shot burb. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to redo this one. Yeah, that's exactly what I had, too. <laughs> Suck. Dang. Yep. Uh, just need to reset. Uh, yeah. Here, I'll show the bird for you. Dark Sweep, Egg Bomb, Heartbreak, All Out Shot. Really cool stuff there. Yeah. But just need to reset game here. Indies did get stuck in the loading screen. It does happen. Yeah, so... Let's let's make sure we get those same teams again. For sure. Yeah, we uh, we didn't even get any gameplay, right? <laughs> that that uh, game ended basically. I mean, Indies told us uh, immediately.
and just need to wait All right, uh, just getting a sec, and for this uh, game to start back up. All right, here we go. And uh, I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm a, a little surprised that Indies is bringing that all-out shot bird, especially in the in the last position. Uh, what are you thinking about that, Barnar? Oh, we might have lost Barnar here. Uh, what I think about that is a very interesting situation for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm back. Oh, Sorry okay. about that. <laughs> no, all good, all good. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's interesting that he is taking that bird in the final spot, like I was saying. Uh... Yeah, I think it, it's got to be kind of a reaction to that numbing uh, to the Gravelant, right? Mm, I mean, it might that, be. That's my guess. And he is taking that Gravelant uh, in the back line. I, I didn't look at that uh, the first time we were getting in the game. I wanted, I was making sure that we got the uh, game started. I mean, right. game uh, ended and restarted. But yeah, super uh, interesting. Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting to see how this plays. I don't I don't see any um, immediate advantage for one side or the other. Right. I um, mean, uh, the, the post fight here, be right? Strong against the bird for sure. And uh, in hand here, Indies has double post fight, so he might kill Prathap's beast for free. I mean, for one energy, and that's wow. that might be why he's taking it like this, so he can get himself that much of an energy advantage and then his beast is faster than the double plant here yeah yeah we don't we don't see a lot of uh at, at least not uh, not in tournament play as far as i'm as far as i'm aware uh seeing birds in the back line <coughs> right yeah uh, excuse me we have i we have barely seen any birds in the back line he did think about doing double all out shot uh decided against it and did single but I mean, that's a kill on a beast for two energy in a mid line position. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and his his tank lives. Really cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then really cool. Prathap does get an energy in return, and it's you know it's not over here. Prathap does need to get oh, no. through his beast, uh, and then being able to yeah. kill a uh, plant here with the bird really solid also in this draws draws uh anything off of his beast but no play from prathap right uh looks like prathap might have uh wait did uh did prathap have a oh he knew the egg bomb was coming through i think is why he passed a turn there yeah i mean that's my assumption too And then yeah, so that so to protect the beast from the numbing lacretion, that must have been why uh, we had to wait for a second there. I think Indies was building this team. <laughs> wow. So beast goes first. That should be it. Yep. Yeah. GGS. Wow. So again, <laughs> it goes. It goes. Uh, <laughs> punch after punch. <laughs> Right, yep. Indus Indus takes that one. So three two. <laughs> yeah, a uh, someone who's observant probably thinks that Prathop's winning this next one. Yeah, <laughs> probably. We'll see. 
we'll see how it goes but yeah it's gone it's gone punch after punch so pretty interesting stuff it, it does seem like a lot of this series has been played in the team selection they've been trying to counter each other's uh picks really really good on the fly yeah. team comp pick by indies for sure i mean incredible <laughs> I mean, in my view, it's just incredible. And now, you know, here I'm thinking, um, if I'm either of these guys, like, are they going to switch? Are they going to stay the same? Maybe I stay the same to try to out fake <laughs> to fake out the other person for who, sure. Who's going to switch? Ah, uh, that's that's the part that's incredible. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm with Brendan, hoping to see something weird come out this round. For sure, same. Um, uh, I've been I've been wanting for it. I think since it is Indies versus Prathap, <laughs> there's a chance that we will see something weird. I mean, we did see an all-out shot backline bird. Uh, haven't seen a backline bird in today's bracket. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, even even Prathap's uh, uh, backliner the last True. few games with yeah. that gravelant been been interesting. We have seen that. We have seen Gravelant before, but... Right, yep. And uh, that has been sort of a pocket pick, the Gravelant, for sure. It... Well, yeah, I mean, the, the tough thing there is uh, it, I think it stops someone from... It, it uh, makes someone think twice about bringing double Aqua. For sure. It does. And it seems like Indies is... Uh, Maybe not most comfortable, but I feel like he likes his double aqua team quite a bit. Uh, when he's not seems to be needed, his base. Yeah. yeah, he's been starting off with it. You know, I, reading his opponents with it. He's he likes uh, the way his double aqua team plays, and I, I don't blame him. Same with Prathap, right? He he's shown some oh, yeah, double aqua right. in the past as well. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, oh, okay. They are in game. My, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I might have been, uh, we might be a little behind. We did miss round one, uh, but that's okay. Did, uh, get quite a bit of poison. Oh, wow. oh wait, this is Iron Man versus Yaga. Oh, sorry, guys. They're practicing, probably. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that's way different. Yeah, I, I saw Tamil tap and then I clicked it. But they are in game. Here we go. Indies versus Prathap. It just started, so we'll be sitting Sweet. here on the round one screen for a bit so that the game can give them some, uh, you know, give them room uh, so no cheating can happen. Right. But yeah, how are you feeling? Uh, Prathap's breaking out the double yam thorny again. Uh, been really well, brutal. This is, yeah, this is incredible. Um, I, I mean, <laughs> really, really incredible, to be honest. Like, oh, no, yeah. So, um, just looking at the utility stuff here, uh, Prathap has that skip, uh, the, For sure. the the bird horn in his midliner. Um, wow. That, that won't go strong against the beast, but he can definitely get some poison, some poison stuff. on it. And I think which... Prathap switched out his tank from his usual uh, version of this comp. I don't remember a slippery shell. No, it was Aqua Stock. Yeah, it okay, was, yep. Uh, water and can. And that that's probably a on the fly decision because he uh well because Indies hasn't really been breaking out his aquas here. Uh right. really interesting that Indies stuck with the all out shot. And wow. Yeah, I'm 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 interested in that too. Yeah, for sure. We'll we'll have to see. Uh thank you so much to uh trust the process for the gift sub to the community. Uh, oh, wow, so yeah. awesome. Thank so you so cool. much, man. Uh, if we hit, uh, where's my, give if we hit, uh, seven more subs, we will be giving away a DPS beast, uh, very good PVE and it, it hit scare. Uh, congrats to scare. It, uh, it might've been so cool. It might've been straight to scare or it randomly landed on scare, but congrats to Necro. Awesome stuff, so cool. guys. Love you so much. The support in this tournament's been amazing. Yeah, it really has. Thanks, everyone. And then okay, we so do here we see, see it, right? Yep, we do yep. see the smart shot into the double poison. Uh, I do think Prathap is respecting the beast. Wanted to get, uh, wanted to get some of that prerequisite damage out. I think he is worried that the beast might be 
his biggest threat maybe or maybe he just wants to be able to get to the bird faster this is looking a little scary from Prathap right uh, you know turn two tank death isn't the greatest but his thorny has has uh, never lost yet <laughs> his thorny backliner has been super abusive yeah it really has and looking back at that play you wonder if he's protecting his energy too making sure he's using it all up and that was his best option at the time for sure yeah, can we get some loves or some pogs in the chat for Altamang? Trust the process. Uh, what a great guy. Much love, man. And yeah, so really uh, thinking, like, when are you, are you thinking we're going to see a egg bomb uh, trying to pull something here soon? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, right now, I think uh, Indus is kind of in control. Um, I guess we'll see. For yep. sure. Nope, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he... well, no, I guess we can't tell for sure yet. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, is that, I mean, that, that, is that crit? Like, wow. unfortunate for Prathap? 421. Uh, yeah, it's because he didn't get the card draw. He didn't or the get card, his uh, cards, discard. right. He didn't get the discard. That might, like, if wow. the discard hit... Indy's beast or something, he would not be feeling good. Or if it hit a dark swoop, a lot of yeah, uh, maybe issues that's there. A, maybe that's an order misplay. Maybe you play your, your Thunderclaws first. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, Prathrap might be upset about that. Also might not even care. He does have double discard uh, to be able to use in the future. And yeah. I do like the play here. And then Indy's is stacking energy. Indy's is way up in energy here. He did kill... Prathap's tank early, and Prathap has had to use... Uh, well, not had to, but uh, getting the two poison on the beast cost him three energy. And that's where Prathap's energy minus is at. Yeah, I mean, this is still really, really interesting, depending on how things get played here. Like For sure. If uh, Indus can get rid of this this uh, yeah. fish, he should be in great shape. Oh, For he doesn't. For sure. Uh, yeah, wow. So... Uh, wow. Mm, okay... No, he does. He does get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, wow. but and then the beast will die soon. But it does get to steal an energy from yeah. Prathap, and every energy for Prathap right now is very important. Yeah, so this might be I, enough. This is interesting. Uh, I mean, Indus isn't going to play this wrong. Oh, it was enough. Yeah, that that double egg. Wow. And and uh, that's it. Indies wins. Uh, wow. Indies wins the tournament. Congrats to Indies. Congrats to Indus. That's so cool. Prathap, great showing. I mean, it came down to the last two axes and the last two plays. Um, you know, just just a phenomenal play. I, and I don't I don't even know if that uh, if playing that in a different order uh, from Prathap would have made any difference. But in the end, Indus uh, Indus wins out. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Uh, incredible stuff. So, so good. Congratulations to everybody who played in the tournament and uh, we'll, we'll work hard. We'll pay attention to gas, but we'll get, yep, uh, for sure. we'll get everybody's uh, wow. prizes out. Wow. So awesome. So such a, such a great tournament. Yes. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so um, much for wow. making it awesome, everybody. Yeah. Uh, thanks again to all the sponsors. Uh, thanks for T-Pen. Man, good job, buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Such a good time. Looking forward to the next one already. For sure. And then, yep, MVP award, Landfill, uh, who got third. That's the Necro MVP of the tournament. Congrats to Indies for winning. Uh, congrats to Prath for second. And congrats to Yaga for fourth. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, and congrats to everybody. Like, uh, hopefully we get a bigger field next time around. For sure. And, and that just lets us uh, make the uh, the prizes even better. <laughs> For Yep, yep, exactly. Hey, thanks, Brendan. We've had a good time, and um, yeah, just it's been fun. Uh, learned a lot. Uh, had, had a great time. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. We sure we sure like uh, streaming, and, and Definitely. we love the Axie community. Oh, thank you all so much. GG's to everybody. Amazing games. Oh, wow. <laughs> Super fun, guys. Thank you all for being here. Uh, 
Thank you uh, for all the subs on the stream. Thank you, Alt Mang, for the uh, gift sub. You guys are all the best. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, hey, I'm headed off. Maybe uh, if if T Pen wants to stand for bitties, welcome to. But yeah, I'll just close I'm out. and stuff. It's been but awesome. All right. Thank yeah. you so much for co-hosting, Barnard. You've been amazing. Oh yeah, so glad to. It's been it's been a great time. Everybody, remember we got Axie Chat. Great stuff coming on Tuesday. Yep, so Tuesday, uh, double tuned. double header. Okay. Peace, everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much, Barnard. If you have a round two. Uh, bird i'm ending stream uh necro <laughs> so much fun guys thank you to all the participants and then rewards are going to be divvied out uh gas was pretty high uh earlier today me and barner i'll see how it all goes uh thank you guys you guys are all so awesome so cool this tournament has been amazing Such an awesome chat, such an awesome uh, field of players. So many great games. Uh, one of my favorite games still was the Jaguar Last Stand Beast pulling it out for, I think it was uh, Trust the Process. That was an amazing game. That was my favorite single game. So cool. Let's get this out there. Perfect. All right. So awesome. Love you all. Hmm. What are you thinking, Necro? Necro might be taking it. Oh, only only can do an ivory here. So cool. I do like to see this. Um, I think... I don't know if that's enough protection. Uh, yeah, adding the uh, insectivore there. You know, I think we go single tail. And see if we can live through this turn, maybe. Oh, did get to cancel the most damage. Okay, we'll see something like this. Puffy first, just in case I get a crit and also don't die. <laughs> uh, that's just going to kill right there. A Mutt Mayhem where Axies can't have two or more of the same class cards. I mean, no, that would be a very interesting, uh, fun experimental tournament. Uh, we just wouldn't need, we just shouldn't have... Uh, we just shouldn't put too much money on the line for a Mutt Mayhem tournament. 
That's a great idea. And on my Twitter, we do have the final standings. Uh, feel free to hit that with a retweet if you do feel so obliged. There's a chance we can kill. We do need a crit, and we also need him not to have enough energy. The double morale debuff will uh, for sure do it. <laughs> Finish her off with a bird crit, just to make sure. GG. Here, let me switch up the team. Oh, you're already in one. All oh, G's. I got you. All good. Thank you all so much. <laughs> it's chilling. It happens. Thank you so much for being here, Indies. Thank you for for playing. Congrats so much on winning. Uh, yeah, love the discussion. Uh, that we that love the discussions we had as well. Uh, you know, we're we have a game here that's being made as we play it. You know, a lot of people just get the final product, and the developers are really listening to player perspective on how to help make the tournament better so i mean not the tournament the uh the video the game and it's really really good to have community discussions like this figure out uh some some things that do need fixing and some things that are really good the way they are you know so thank you so much for the discussions ahead uh v2 is going to be awesome uh thank you so much for h hiker to uh for being in here as well yeah True, true. All right, have a good night, H Hiker. Thank you so much for being here. We can watch a Necro's game while we wait. Ooh, a double aqua versus a bird aqua. You know what? I probably need to move that. There we go. Uh, okay, good night, Scare. If you're out of here. And uh, Scare, on my tweet, I added, I included your uh, MVP, the the Necro MVP of the tournament.
Oh, really close one. This one came down to the wire. Uh, the, uh, the stun might do it here for uh, Necro's opponent. We'll see if he has enough HP. Doesn't look like it'll, it'll get her done. Uh, yeah, just uh, in closing, every single set will be posted on my YouTube. Uh, you'll just have to give me probably a couple days. It's going to take a little while to edit. And then here is the link to my YouTube channel. Uh, the whole tournament will be posted here. And I also have some my land demo gameplay. If you are itching to have some more land uh, content. Also, all of my Twitch VODs are posted there if you ever miss one. And... I have a series that's non axie of me just playing through the entirety of the StarCraft series. I'm a big fan of the RTS genre. Wanted to go through all of that. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'll be, I'm live here uh, most days, uh, except for usually Tuesday and Thursday. Sometimes I have to take days off. Um, I'm not going to be live on Monday. I have a, uh, it's finals, it's been finals week, uh, the tournament and homework have been a lot so gonna have to make sure that I'm well studied for all of my exams coming up follow t pen <laughs> Thanks, Scare. Uh, thanks, Necro. I love you, man. And, of course, uh, Necro does stream. Also, he's my other Axie streamer friend. Uh, me and him battle all the time on stream. He streams at twitch.tv slash Scareface. Same Twitch account that uh, com that's commenting and uh, been in chat. So awesome. Scare uh, Necro did participate in the tournament. Uh, Aussie time zone was an issue. I think... Uh, we'll, we'll have to figure out what time would work perfect for every time zone. It's it's real tough. You know, it's either going to start getting late for people, start getting early for people. So we'll, we'll have to figure that out for sure. The double veggie steal from Necro. This, uh, I've seen this beast from Necro before. Oh, uh, I, I think I actually suggested to pick this beast up uh, for Necro. To, uh, he wanted at one point to make a split rimp, uh, hidden rimp, I mean hidden DPS uh, team comp. And it works as a pretty solid backliner. It's freaking cool stuff. Alright, love to see something like this for this team comp that I'm running. You know, now I think about it, uh, this Axie, after watching the tournament, uh, this Axie might be a pretty solid uh, substitute backliner for uh, a tournament setting. Oh, okay, perfect. Woo he almost put up enough shield for me to uh, get really screwed on that turn there. That would have been really unfortunate. And here, I think we do this and this. Should be sitting in a pretty good spot. Ooh. Did did play an Aqua Shock there, so. Awesome. A lot of energy. That last stand will stop uh, pre-damage on the beast. But as long as... As I draw pretty healthy, uh, that's that's not the draw we're looking for yet. <laughs> 
Maybe should have added the Night Steel because I do have energy. I am just out of cards. Oh, and Necro uh, in a similar spot, I'm sure, based off of that play. And there we go. Just most likely going to be able to brute force our way through. And he did finish off the the frontliner here. This is looking kind of scary. The nub, the double nut DPS is not quite gonna be enough. Oh, awesome! Uh, GG scare. <laughs> We'll have to finish this series uh, since we're tied 1-1 right now uh, later. I am tired, uh, so I'm going to hop off here. Got to go do some studying before I crash. But uh, good night, everybody. Thank you all so much for being here, and peace out. Have a good one.